Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here with me today. In today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys a crazy story of something that happened to me a couple of days ago. It is a thrifting story, and then I will jump into the haul from that story. I recently made a short about this experience and it blew up on YouTube. I have gotten lots of negative comments on that video, and so I'll be addressing some of those comments today, as well as telling you guys the story and the haul. Like I said, so a couple days ago, I think it was last week and now it's Tuesday. So it hasn't been a full week since this happened, but me and my friend had planned to meet at a thrift store and I got there, I think a little bit late or two minutes late, but I got there pretty close to when we were going to meet. And then she texted me like 15 minutes later and said she was going to be late. And I thought, okay, I'm going to spend some time in the men's section, I was already there, but I wasn't really walking around because I was waiting for her. But once I got that text from her, I decided to browse in the men's section because I thought that when we got together, we wouldn't spend much time in the men's section and that we would spend time in other sections of the thrift store. So I quickly looked through the men's shirts. I didn't think I would find anything because the resellers that sell men's clothing, they have a lot of competition. And so they probably get to these thrift stores first thing in the morning. And although it was the morning, it wasn't right when they open. So I didn't find anything in the shirts. I think I quickly glanced at the pants and jackets, but I headed over to the men's active wear slash pajama section, which sometimes is overlooked. I found some great goodies there before, and I was kind of flipping through not finding anything. Well, I saw coming up in the racks that there was this pair of gray pants and they looked nice, right? You could just tell that they were quality. And so I skipped the rest of the clothes I was going through and went straight for that pair of gray kind of sweatpant joggers. And I felt them and they felt so smooth, like butter. And I looked at the label and it said Cozy Earth. And I thought, no way, I know this brand Cozy Earth. I know that this is a great bolo, this resells well. And so I grabbed it and I put it in my cart. Well, I can't remember if it was a couple clothes later, there was like 10 of them in a row, all size 2XL. And I thought, this is crazy. And I put them all in my cart and was super happy. But then the moment was over, so I headed over to the shoes. And then I headed over to the toys with my daughter and my friend finally came and we were browsing the home decor section and the furniture and the purses and the dresses, just having a good old time. And then towards the end of our trip, we were nearing the end of the women's section before there are the checkouts. And I stumbled across multiple clothing items in a row, which, you know, is eye catching because there are usually a bunch of different pieces. You don't find a ton of different pieces in a row and come to find out they had this crazy amount of cozy earth clothing. They had robes, they had pajama sets, they had a few pairs of pants. I looked through them and I quickly realized that all the sizes were 2XL. Some of them were 3XL, but they were mostly 2XL. And I kind of frantically started putting them in my cart. I was really excited, but I was also trying to rush because I was with my friend and I was putting all this stuff in my cart. And then I thought to myself, okay, okay, I should probably talk to my husband before I spend all this money. Although I know this is a good brand, I should do more research and I'll just stick to buying a few. So after I put all of those in my cart, I had to retake them out and re-put them back onto the racks, which was actually really hard because these pajamas are so buttery soft. They're made of a viscose that comes from bamboo. And so they were literally sliding off the hanger. So it took quite a lot of effort to put them back on the racks. I decided to get two of every piece. So I got two robes, two pajama sets, two gray shirts, two pairs of white joggers, and then two pairs of gray joggers. And I had those in my cart as well as the few things I bought for myself on that trip. And I checked out and that was that. Kind of didn't really think about it the rest of the day. I was taking care of my daughters. And then my husband got home and I told him, oh yeah, today I had this amazing thrift find. I came across all these cozy earth clothes. And he said, well, how much would they be all together? You should just put it on a credit card and go back. And I said, really? And he's like, really, go back. And I was like, okay, okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of research before I drive all the way back because it's around 20 minutes away, this thrift store. And that's gas money and that's also my time. My time is precious, my time is money. And so I looked up on eBay, I looked up women's cozy earth pajama sets and there was, I think 22 listed and then there were 23 sold, 
So that's a pretty good sell-through rate. That's not 100% sell-through rate. That's not how sell-through rate is calculated, but that is a good sign that there's more sold than are listed. After I got those results on eBay, I looked up the comps and they were selling actually really well, $50 and above. And so I quickly grabbed my credit card. I lost my wallet, that's a whole other story, but I grabbed my husband's credit card and I headed off to the thrift store. And driving there, I felt really anxious and nervous because it was now around 4 p.m. in the day and I was gonna arrive there around 4.30 p.m. And so I thought if any other reseller had stumbled across this thrift store that they would have snatched up a lot of these pajamas. So I was hoping as I was driving there that they would still have some of this Cozy Earth inventory and I walked in and they did and I just kind of started piling it into my cart. I was definitely drawing some attention and then this one lady saw that I was taking it all and she quickly came over to see what I was taking and look at the stuff but they were all size 2XL like I previously mentioned. She obviously wasn't a size 2XL. She was a pretty small woman and so she was like oh dang it you know kind of walked away and then I just kept piling stuff into my cart, was really excited at this point. And then I decided to pull my camera and that is the little short video I took that has blown up on my YouTube channel now. And my cart was like overflowing, stacked high. In this one section that I had taken all these cozy earth clothes, we had the robes, the joggers, the pajama sets, and the gray shirts. After I had cleared all of these racks, there was a lady that called to me in the distance and she said, we actually have a whole other rack over there. She's like, the rest is over there. And I said, there's there's more? And if it was more of the same stuff, I probably wasn't going to buy it because I already had a ton. I didn't need a ton, a ton. So I, so I thought, I'll just go look really quick. And I she directed me over to this one area and they were different pajamas. They were pink pajama shorts, cream pajama shorts, and then they had some gray pajama tank tops. And I looked, tried to look up this specific gray Cozy Earth tank top and I did find one comp that was around $30. And so I did decide to buy a lot of that. And these are all size 2XL, a few 3XL. I was putting them all into my cart. I obviously drew some attention, right? The workers were very helpful. They were wanting to help me clear out this inventory. So I had all of this Cozy Earth pajamas in my cart and then I decided I would go through and make sure that nothing had spots or tears. And so that's what I did. I went through every individual piece and there were a few cream white colored robes that had some spots. And so I put those back and then I think a few of the sweatpants either had like a hole or something. So I just put them back, but I kept most of it. I went to check out right before I started checking out. There was a guy who said, thank you for buying all the stuff. I presumed that he was the manager or had some kind of lead position within this thrift store because he wouldn't be thanking me if he was just an employee, right? He seemed to be somebody that was higher up. And he told me that I should come back tomorrow because they have more in the back. I thought, well, I was kind of saying, I don't know if I have room to come back. I'd love to, but I don't know if I have room. And I honestly just didn't want to come back because I didn't really need any more. I had a ton. This will take some time to sell just because of the sheer mass of stuff that I have. Went to check out and there was this, he looked about 17, 18 guy who was at the cash register, we started going through and counting all the stuff. And we were counting it and counting it and counting it. We had to double count a few times and it was kind of awkward because checking out can be awkward sometimes. But the prices of these things were really good. They were either $4, $5, $6 or $7, which is really great. Nothing exceeded $7. $7 for new with tags pajamas. Not all of them were new with tags, but some were. After we had all checked out, put them in our bags, I had a total of a little bit over $300. And I actually thought that wasn't too bad. I thought it was going to be much more. I drove to my car. It was really hot this day. I was getting tired because it was towards the end of the day. Put them bags into my car. They were actually really heavy and I drove home. And that's kind of the rest of the story. I spent about $400 in total on these cozy earth pajamas. I spent a little more than 300 the second trip and then less than 100 the first thrift trip but I wanted to show you guys what I got because it is crazy and it is all plus size. I know this is gonna take a while to sell, but it is an investment. Come to find out though that the blue woman's pajamas sets are mismatched. And I thought to myself, I'm not gonna go back and try to find things to exchange. I'm just gonna to try to sell the sets as is. So the women's tops are 2XL and the women's bottoms are 3XL. There are a few 3XL tops, 
but it's mostly mismatched, which is unfortunate, but I will show you guys what this is. I'm gonna stretch out because my legs are going numb from sitting crisscross. So we have these, Cozy Earth. They feel like butter, literally like butter. The softest pajamas ever, and they're cooling, which is really cool. It is hot in here because we're in the summertime and these are cooling. A lot of people like to sleep with that cooling feel. But yeah, this is a size 3XL. And that's what Cozy Earth looks like, by the way. And this one, I'm not sure if this one is new with tags yet. This one is new with tags. And then the shirt, oh wait, these are all pajama bottoms. Let me see if I can find you a top. I think I put all the pajama bottoms on the top. Okay, <laughs> so... This is the pajama top. These are a size 2XL. And the whole set, so the blue set was $7, which is great. A newest tags cozy earth set for $7 is crazy. The color is called mini dot. The style is woman's bamboo stretch knit classic short sleeve pajama top. And when I was doing the listing for this, I have not listed all of these yet, but I have listed this blue set. And when I was doing the listing for this, I looked up how much it was selling for originally, and I think it was $195, and it was on sale for around $166. That's probably incorrect, but it was around those numbers, and I was so shocked and excited. I do have a question for anyone who is very knowledgeable in eBay. So on Poshmark, I have in the listing that I have multiple of these pajama sets, but when I cross-listed them over to eBay, I didn't select multiple of the same item, and now that they're listed, I go back to revise the listing and I can't find the option or where I put that I have multiple of the same pajama set. So if anyone knows, that would be really helpful where I can go to revise that there is more than one. But yeah, this is the top and then this is the bottom. Next, we have the gray jogger pants. Now these, I think they actually cost more than the pajama set, which is crazy because that's a set and this is just one single piece. But I paid $5 for these gray jogger sweatpants. This is a size extra, extra large. And I think that it is a men's. When I made my listing, I found a men's stock photo and I found the men's cozy earth listing online. But they also did have very similar women's jogger pants, but I couldn't find this exact color. So I do believe that these are men's. Like I said, I found those 10 Cozy Earth joggers in the men's section, but I found the rest of them in the women's section. So they ended up thinking they were women's. These are really quality. They have a zipper pocket in the back. Not sure what you would use that for. They also have pockets on the side. I think that all of their pajamas have pockets. Let me check the blue bottom ones. I don't remember these. Yep, these have pockets too. So whoever designed these is so awesome because I love pockets and pockets is just something that a lot of people like. So I got a ton of those. I will show you the bag of gray pants. I do believe that this is all those gray sweatpants. That is so many. And then we have these. These don't come with bottoms, but I do believe that this was originally a set. This, these were $5 too. So the same price as the gray sweatpants. The, this is a size 3XL, buttery soft, nice gray shirt. Must have come with a set, but I'm thinking that I can sell this with the cream jogger pants and say that they're not originally a set, but they, they go well together. So this bag right here, I do believe we have half the bag is those gray pajama shirts. And then we have, let's see here, the cream color of those joggers. Now these ones might be women's because these ones don't have the zipper pocket in the back. And I feel like this is more of a woman's color. Men can wear white too, but I feel like a woman is more inclined to wear a white pair of pajamas. This is size 2XL. I do believe I have some 3XL as well. Buttery soft. I thought that I could sell these as a set. This is more of a cream color while the trim of this is more white, but this is a really nice set. And so I do believe that I will sell them as a set. I put in the description that if anyone is interested in just 
the top or the bottoms that they should make a bundle and message me and we can work something out because really the goal is to get all this sold. I spent around $400, which I can make back pretty quickly. I do have to hold out on getting more inventory until I sell some of this stuff, but I could not pass this up. All right, next we have these. These are pink pajama shorts. I really wish they had these in my size. They don't. They were all 2XL, 3XL, and I'm really curious as to what inventory they had in the back. And I'm actually kind of curious if the person who put the blue pajama sets together, if they accidentally put the 2XL shirts with the 3XL bottoms, and in the back there are the 3XL shirts with the 2XL bottoms, that would be really disappointing. These are new with tags too. Those cream pants weren't new with tags, but these ones are 3XL with pockets. This would be so cute for like a bridesmaid's trip, and they're just really luxurious. So I have a ton of those a ton. This is not organized. I'm just in my reselling space right now. And then let's see what this is. Oh, these are the gray tank tops. So this was the one I was talking about that had the $30 comp. This is a size 2XL. Cozy Earth Premium Bamboo Clothing is the circle logo around it. I'll show you it again. This is what it looks like. It is so buttery soft. This and this would actually make a really cute set. So I might put these together for sale as a set. And maybe I'll also list some of them separately. I haven't decided what I'm going to do exactly yet. Okay, I think I showed you everything. In here we have some more gray pants, cream pants, and blue pajama sets. Another bag of blue pajama sets. I think I bought mostly blue pajama sets. And it's really upsetting because they are mismatched. These are 3XL bottoms with, I'm double checking now to see if all of these are 3XL, yep, 2XL top. So that's kind of unfortunate. They do not match, but they're only one size difference. So I'm hoping that I can find some woman with smaller tops and bigger bottoms. More blue pajamas. Ooh, they are heavy. And then the last thing, that we have. This is probably the clothing pajama item that I bought the least of because they didn't have that much of it. And this is the Cozy Earth Robe. This would be perfect for a bride or bridesmaids or vacation or a honeymoon. This is so, so soft. It's a size 2XL like all the others. These were $6. I think I forgot to tell you how much the gray shirts were. So the gray shirts were only $4, the gray shirts. And then these were, what did I just say? $6. These are so cute. They are kind of a mini length and they have a tie waist, very breathable, definitely see-through. So you couldn't just wear this robe out. This robe with these pink pants and this gray shirt gives you the softest, most perfect pajamas set. Before this video ends, I wanted to address all of the negative comments in that little shorts video that I posted on YouTube. I mostly got hate comments, which I'm totally fine with because that helps the algorithm, pushes my video out to more people, but I do need to defend myself because I bought this all. I bought all of this and so it's mine. I luckily get to do whatever I want with it. I can do whatever I want with my purchases, as long as it's legal, right? I can't go teepee someone's house. Now that I've bought these clothes, they are mine. And the thrift store that I bought these clothes from is called Deseret Industries. And the thrift store that I went to actually helps immigrants and people who didn't get a proper education or people that used to be on drugs, helps job train them for jobs in the future, which is really awesome, right? It's job preparing these people. And so I just help pay for their paychecks. You really can't be mad at me there. And this thrift store has tons of clothes. So just imagine it when you walk in and you have the men's section, the women's section, and then kind of this middle section. And it, it is just a huge thrift store. There is a massive amount of clothing. The manager guy said that there was more in the back. These were all donated items, which means that the thrift store themselves was a reseller. Nobody is calling out the thrift stores for being unethical and taking away from the poor. That one woman who came over and when I was taking all 
of the stuff of the racks wanted to look at that one thing. I didn't quickly snatch it from her and let her look at it because I was taking it all. And so I wanted to make sure that she got her share before I took it. And she looked at the size and it wasn't her size. And so that was that. And I took the last pajama set on that rack. That is all I'm going to say about that. If you still think I'm taking from the poor, I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm really not. I'm actually helping support the people that work there. The people that work there are so nice. Anyway, I'm going to get to listing the rest of these pajama sets. Hopefully I can take some good photos. I would love to take photos in the day, but I am a mom and so it is hard sometimes to take photos in the daytime. I usually take photos in the night. I have my bright box light here, which is also the lighting for this video. I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully.